as usual. Hey Sue, this is for you. Okay, I have four beers. Something called lo lo Lotus. Lo well, it's Lotus, but it's got oats in it, and it's spelled with the O A T. So I'm not here. Fog Crusher, Night Grinder, or something like that, and Peanut Butter Falcon. Mmm. I'll let you know what they taste like, Bismo Beach. And I recognized it. This is the Butterfly Grove. I will go back there later. I am playing tourist in the Five Cities area. I am staying in Oceano. I am going to Grover Beach. I'm going to Pismo. And I'm going to Arroyo Grande. It's been a while since I've been to a brewery, but I'm going to a great one. I didn't know ahead of time, but I found out in Arroyo Grande. And hopefully you will join me. Really explored that much. So some of this is like, oh, that's so familiar. I've been there. And I've been to Pismo a lot. So <clears throat> this is Pismo. I should be going past pretty soon on the left hand side, Pismo Coast Village, which I think is here we go. Where um, Barb and I have stayed numerous times and had great time. This is the Pismo State Beach Butterfly Grove. Pretty cool. Notice how the butterfly count has dwindled drastically over the years. One bit of good news, I guess, is that the, as of December 1st, 2021, the count for that year was 22,445 butterflies, up from the year before. Okay, these are the huge trees. I'll get a little more info. That the butterflies come to, to winter or on their way to Mexico, I forget. Hopefully, you will be able to see some butterflies flying around. I can see them. Don't know how easy it is with the camera. From late October to February, the butterflies cluster in the limbs of towering majestic eucalyptus trees that are flanking an estuary that flows into the Pacific Ocean. The annual migration of North America's monarch butterfly is unique and amazing. The monarch is the only butterfly known to make a two-way migration, as birds do. Unlike other butterflies that can overwinter as larva pupa, or even as adults in some species, monarchs cannot sur survive the cold winters. Using environmental cues, the monarchs know when it's time to leave and head south. They use a combination of air currents and thermals to travel long distances. Some fly as far as 3,000 miles to reach their winter home. And where do they go? Well, on the eastern coast, they go down to Mexico. And on the west coast, they overwinter in California. And this is what you're seeing. Snowbird <laughs> butterflies. If you're somebody who rides the trains, you can come to this part of California via Amtrak on the Surfliner. I went to a brewery and in their appetizer section, I had beer, I wasn't really hungry, but I saw span fried Spanish peanuts with burnt onion. This is delicious. I'm not a peanut lover, but just the fried Spanish, you know. And uh, I got some, and it's a share plate, but, you know, I'm by myself, so I couldn't share. It was just me. There we go. Uh, and so I brought, obviously, most of it home. I'm going to have a little bit now. It's salty. There's a tiniest little bit of heat to it. There's a little onion, but you can't take too much onion. Device that could basically change the world. That is the Maybe swinging bridge. Cute. Okay. Okay. So what I can find here. I really was going to walk across this swinging bridge, even though I didn't want to because I do not like heights, but I thought I'm going to do it for the YouTube channel. Well, there's absolutely no parking, so I was saved from that. But anyway, this bridge was originally constructed in early 1875 by the Short family. Their land was divided by the creek, the Arroyo Grande Creek, and so they built a bridge. It's 171 feet across and is 40 feet off the creek. 
It was damaged in 1995, but the community got together, like small communities often do, and they repaired their bridge. Okay, so I got out of the truck. This is where I'm parked. There's a cool old church. I don't think it's a church anymore. And that's where I'm going. I'm going there to Home Dinger Wine Brewery. Now, if you notice the sign above, Doc Bernstein's, oh my God, they're famous for their incredible ice cream. I might have to go there this trip, but I don't know. Maybe when Christina's here, because she loves ice cream. That might be an idea. And in the meantime, I'm just going to walk to the brewery. It should be open. Home Dinger Welcome. Brewing. Festive lights. Home Digger. I hope it's a Home Digger of a brew. Going in. They look like rats to me. I'll have to find out what they're supposed to be. That reminds me of the brewery in Sioux Falls, Obscure. Same kind of concept. It just sounds interesting. Chicharro? Mm-hmm. I know people who would love that. Fried calamari. You can't beat that. Chichito peppers. Mexican street corn. Shrooms and polenta. I mean, this looks like a, a lunch slash dinner place to me. Pork belly chili verde tacos. Oh my God, I might have to come back. Flat top smash burger. That's, I love smash burgers. Pork belly bon me. Wow. Okay, good place. Okay. Ooh, beer coming. Thank you so much. Look at that. I know how to pick my colors. Look at that. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. This lotus one, I don't know, it's very, and I've said this before, it's very wet. It's not very sweet. There's a fruitiness to it, more of like a tart citrusy. Dancing with the hops so that it's not a sweet beer, but it's not a bad hop beer either. Just not something I'm in love with. But I think it would be refreshing. Okay, this Fog Crusher is another hoppy beer. But it's interesting. It says um, it's a New England IPA, soft hazy IPA with light malt sweetness, showcasing citra, mosaic, and amarillo hops. That's kind of scientifically fancy. Let's give it a try. Oh, it smells like it smells like that good hops fruit mix. Ooh, I've been disappointed before. A little hoppy, but not bad hoppy. There's so much else there. It's so well-rounded. I guess all the hops or something makes it kind of a deep flavor. So even though there's that hops in there, there's so much else to mellow it. I kind of like it. Okay, the next one I'm going to try is called Night Grinder. Golden Milk Stout with Quintessa Coffee. I didn't get it the first time I read it, but there's a coffee roaster here in town or in the next town called Quintessa. And I've already been there, had, a, had a, an Americano, bought some beans, I think it's really good. And I'm going back. Um, it's got coffee from my new favorite coffee roaster. Look at the color on this. That's beautiful. It's like honey, it's like a bottle of honey. Okay. Ooh. It smells good. I smell coffee. Okay. That's good. That's really good. If you like coffee, this is one for you. And there's a there is a brewery in Pasadena and I'll write the name that I went to it with Enrique Rose and other people. And they had a coffee beer similar to this that we just all loved. This one has a little bit more 
flavor to it. Not necessarily coffee, but other flavors that I can't identify. Um, it's a little more rounded than the one in Pasadena, but they're both delicious and both were light in color. This one I think is a little bit darker. I might have to get something of this to go. It's good. What I can say so far is that if you're on the Central Coast, this is called the Central Coast. I'm not sure why, because really, if you look at a map of California, San Francisco is kind of the Central Coast. Because there's way a lot of California above San Francisco. Eh. Anyway, if you're here in the Pismo Beach, San Luis Obispo, Arroyo Grande, Oceano, Grover Beach, and Paso Robles area, come to this brewery. This really is quite impressive. It's downtown Arroyo Grande, which is a super cool place. You could come here and spend a couple hours going up and down the street. But my next beer is, what is it? Peanut Butter Falcon. Uh, it's black. You know this is gonna be sweet. Hopefully not overly sweet. So far I like the, what they do to the flavors. They're not over the top. So maybe this will be palatable peanut butter stuff. It's good. Peanut butter. Something else. I like it. It's sweet, but it's not it's not so cloyingly sweet you can't drink it. <laughs> I'm glad I came here. I'm glad I just decided to try a brewery here in Arroyo Grande and I'm glad this one popped up that it opened at noon. So here I am. And again, if you're in the area, their food, their menu is not big, but the items are really good looking. Um, a lot of variety. If they do it well, this is a place to come. And they do their beer well, so I'm thinking the food's probably pretty okay, good. Okay, I had to just get an appetizer. It's a sharing plate. I'm here by myself. Nobody to share with, but it's Spanish peanuts fried in oil and burnt onions and I'm not sure but I just had to try it because it sounded so interesting and then the waitress also brought me this fermented hot sauce that they make here and she said it might not go with it but she brought it for me anyway so I appreciate that I'm going to try everything I will see and she brought me a pile of napkins apparently my reputation has preceded me and America now knows bring Cindy extra napkins you know how wine, the flavors change with what you're eating, and, and a wine that's good or okay, if you pair it with the white food, can be like, woo, that's really good. These peanuts are great. They're spicy. They're not super peanut flavored, because it's peanut and garlic and spice and stuff, and I haven't even put the hot sauce on. But I had a little handful of the peanuts, and then I tried that lotus beer the first one I had oh, way better I'm gonna try it okay watch oh my god you get to watch me eat pop skooma a little handful of peanuts they're really good mm. now I'm gonna try the frog pressure oh the IPA beer these peanuts need to be sold with every beer in America I promise you that's what every beer needs. And probably it will work with wine too. Man, somebody had a hit when they made this. As usual, I was wrong. It is a church. That's kind of cool. Merry Christmas. As usual, and once again, and I am sincere about this, I want to thank you for watching the video. I know these are not the most exciting videos. They're not the most RV forward videos. They're my videos and I'm working on maybe tightening up my theme a little bit. We'll see, but I appreciate you watching. Neither here nor there is a pretty good name for my videos because of my ADD that you've noticed. Squirrel, um, I, I do like to get, look at a lot of things, go to a lot of places. Uh, dip my toe into numerous ponds. I hope you'll want to join me as I find another new pond to test out and to show to you. Thanks again. I want to try to make these peanuts somehow. I looked for recipes. I didn't see anything exact. But I also think there might be some teeny, teeny bit because I don't like it a lot. But 
fur talk. That's that um, kelpy kind of seaweedy stuff. Okay, I'm gonna eat the spoonful because it's easier to eat it with a spoon. Dang it. It's good. Like I said, a little bit of heat, salty. Peanut flavor is there, but it's got so many other flavors, it's not like eating peanut butter. Mmm! And I do taste the fur top. So salty, a little bit of heat. Don't really taste onion or garlic. It is good. I wish I could find the recipe. Thanks for riding along. Okay, that's stupid, but I just wanted to say it. Anyway. Again, really, thanks. And if I do figure out a recipe for those peanuts, I swear I'm going to put them up on the YouTube because I need the recipe because I'm going to need some more of those peanuts.